Today, President Joe Biden nominated Federal Appeals Court Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. And she is the first black woman to ever be nominated to the nation's highest court. News on Six's Mackenzie Gladney joins us with reaction from Judge Sharon Holmes, who was the first black woman to become a Tulsa County Judge. Mackenzie? Kentucky Brown Jackson's nomination to the U.S. Supreme Court fulfills a promise President Biden made while running for office to nominate the first black woman to serve in the Supreme Court. I believe it's time that we have a court that reflects the full talents and greatness of our nation. If confirmed, Katanji Brown Jackson would become the first black woman to serve on the court in its 233 year history. Judge Sharon Holmes is Tulsa County's first black female to be elected district judge. She says this is a historic day because black women have been ignored in the criminal justice system. To have another uh, black woman be appointed or nominated for the highest court in the land, I just, my heart is just so full of pride and I don't know what else to say. Judge Holmes says it's important to look at the nominee's background. First of all, I don't think she would have been nominated uh, if she wasn't qualified. She wouldn't have made it into the to the arena. Judge Jackson is a Harvard Law School graduate who was a law clerk for Justice Stephen Breyer, who she'd be replacing. The 51-year-old is currently an appeals court judge for the Washington District. She would become the second youngest associate justice in the high court. And Judge Jackson would also be the first public defender to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court. I am truly humbled by the extraordinary honor of this nomination. Judge Holmes says when little black and brown girls see Katanji Brown Jackson, they'll know they can be a Supreme Court justice too. As a black woman, I'm, I'm extremely pr proud and I hope that uh, young black women uh, take special note of it because we can, we can do anything. Now, no date has been set for a confirmation hearing, but Senate Democrats say they want to act quickly on Judge Jackson's nomination. Mackenzie Gladney, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.